Okay, and welcome to the next video, or what should be the final video, on how to build a vacuum doom Tesla coil. Welcome to Tube Time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. So, so far we've had some pretty good results. We've managed to make it do this. But now let's make things a little bit more interesting. In this video, I'm going to add a staccato circuit, which should hopefully increase the spark length somewhat. And also, we'll be able to, we'll be able to make it go and all that good stuff. So, how are we going to modify this circuit for staccato operation? Okay, so now I'm going to show you just how easy it is. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. So I've removed the filament supply. In reality, it's still connected, but to keep the schematic as simple as possible, I've removed it. So, to modify this for staccato operation, all we do is add a triac here between the cathode and the ground. Now the only thing I don't get is um, you can use a 400 volt 4 amp triac and it will work. Now the only thing I don't understand is how a triac rated for 400 volts is going to take a supply of well that's going to be around 5000 volts but apparently it can and this is how you do it so that's what you do. So anyway we've got these two connections here going to the staccato controller this one connects the gate of the triac to the staccato controller's output. This one just simply connects to the staccato controller's ground. And there you go, it's that simple. Now if I was to include the supply for the filament, it would look pretty messy. It would look something like that. You can still make out what's going on, but it's a lot easier like that. And this is the staccato controller that I'm going to do. Now I'm going to make one little change to this. I'm not going to have the polarity switch, I'm just going to have this diode connected directly to one side of the transformer because if the polarity is wrong, I can just simply reverse the live and neutral on this side of the transformer, no problem. Okay, so here's the vacuum tube tester coil circuit with a couple of new additions. I'm sure I don't need to point them out so you can see what they are, but I'll tell you what they are. Got this little box of tricks here with a blinking light on it. That's the staccato controller. And this thing here that looks like a transistor, that's actually a triac. And it's connected between the cathode of the valve and the ground. And of course, obviously, I have the gate connected to this little thing. I cannot take credit for this circuit because I didn't design it. I just built it and here it is, as you can see, in this little blinking light. Yeah, in the dark you can see that a little easier. Now this control here, I know what that does because that adjusts the speed. So we can go from very slow pulses to very fast pulses, as you can see there. I'm just going to leave that in the middle for now. However, this control here doesn't seem to do anything. No matter what I'd set that to, it doesn't seem to do anything, although I've copied the circuit exactly double checked and triple checked that everything is connected where it should be and uh, what it should be doing is adjusting the width of the pulses but uh, I don't know quite what went wrong there but um, anyway let's fire this thing up and see what it does alright so now it's time to test this with the staccato controller in place staccato controller is staccating I'm just going to move this other stuff out of the way so that it doesn't get hurt by it and let's see if it works. Now, if it doesn't work the first time, I'll have to flip the transformer around in there. Let's just plug this in and see if we get anything. Hopefully it will go or something like that. Oh yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Work first time. Alright, I'm going to have a little bit of a play with this. So, let's turn up the speed and make some interesting noises and stuff. Go! 
course, this has been much, much more interesting in the dark, so... I need to do some... <clears throat> oh, that's better. I needed that. I just can't help myself. I have to play with this thing now. <laughs> okay, so here is the staccato controller with the top removed because we're going to take a look inside this. I've got the two controls here, one of which doesn't work, but I think one of the triple five timers might be faulty. So at a later date, I might try and replace those and see if that fixes the problem. You know, but it worked good enough. And so this is what you can see inside. And I kind of like the way I constructed this in this metal box. And there's a good reason why I put this in a metal box. It's because there's a lot of sensitive parts all in here. And I didn't want them to, the coil to interfere with those. So a full metal case and grounded works wonders. So this circuit may seem a little intimidating to some people. It certainly seemed a little bit that way to me when I first saw this. But there's another staccato controller you can do. It's a very, very simple one, which is this one here. This was inspired by one of Jay Martis' circuits. And it gives an output waveform that's pretty much like that. So it's a little bit like the what you'd get from the previous circuit. And I've drawn in the triac in the circuit as well, because, um, just to try to clear up a few things. I mean, that triac there is this one here. So, let's fire this circuit up and see how well it works. Alright, so let's see if this works. Now, there could be any number of problems at the moment. I mean, I don't even know if I've got this the right way around. But I'm going to turn on the power, and if we get anything, we'll know it's good. I guess that means it is the right way around. Let's get a bit of a closer look at that, and obviously in the dark, and we'll see how good this thing works. Should have the camera set up good, so this is low power. Alright, medium power. And high power. One final thing, let's just, uh, let's just compare with and without the staccato circuit. So, I'm going to use the same power each time. So, this is with the staccato. Okay. And this is without staccato. And now, let's see a side-by-side -side comparison. So there you go, it's that simple, and it's a lot noisier now. Anyways, there you go, that's how you build a vacuum tube tester coil with staccato. With senior staccato. So anyway, that concludes this series on how to build a vacuum tube tester coil. I need to take a huge break from this, because this video has been murder. You know, saying that I'm going to do a video series and then making sure I get it done. Instead of making videos when and if I want to. And until next time, whenever that's going to be, maybe in a couple of months or so, goodbye. Although I'll still be on YouTube to answer all your questions and stuff. But please, stop asking me, how do I fix this? How do I do that? I get so many of those that I get behind and sometimes I just completely forget about some of you. I don't mean to, it's just that I get so much that I just cannot keep track of it all, you know? It's... I'm only one guy. But anyway, rant over. Until next time, goodbye. This is take three, and I'm going to take a drink. Because this camera kind of sucks. It's always recording overexposed. It's ridiculous.
And of course, I cannot see what I'm doing because it's always putting these on screen displays all over the screen. When I'm trying to see what the camera's actually seeing, it's ridiculous that I have to record while doing this. Okay, I think we're at maximum focus. Exposure should be on seven, not six. Six is too bright.